My name is Gage Waldner, and today I'm going to be doing another YouTube video. Um, uh, really excited about this video. Um, it's, uh, you know, almost the end of 2016. I really do want to make this video. You know, it's a great time. Uh, you know, really excited for the New Year's. I always am. So I thought it was a perfect time, perfect place just to make another one more video this year. And I know you're going to be loving this video. So, my video is uh, the top 10 Michael Myers kills. And um, I'm, I just really want to show you this video. So, let's get started. And number 10 is Bob's kill from uh, the original movie, 1978. It was such a good kill. I think it was his first time running and just kidding someone. I don't think Michael Myers has ever ran in any of his kills or anything. But this is a, a really good dab. Um, I had to put it in my list. You know, stabbing him with, in the heart. Even though there was no blood, it still really helped out this thing. I'm This death still pulled me off. I love this death. You know, next thing you know, he busts out of the door and gets this guy. You know... It's just an unexpected kill sometimes. You know, you did not see this coming at all. It was it was just a good death. So let's go on to number nine, which is the, um, the, from Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, the girl in the beginning with the baby. Wait, no, I don't think it was a baby, but the uh, other girl, the nurse, I think she was, uh, taking care of the baby, and she, she, he just picks him up, her up with his hand from her neck, and just puts her, puts her on the spike, and the spike goes right through her mouth. It is just so terrifying, horrible. You know, some people really don't deserve to die in these movies, but you know, it was such a good death. You know, very, very good death. Um. No, I don't think he's ever done something like this before, but, you know, you have seen him choke people to death and everything. Yeah, you've seen that. But this death does do good with the mouth action, and um, I thought it was a really good death. So let's go on to number eight, which is from Halloween 4, the uh, trucker guy from Halloween 4, where they take uh, the little girl, Jamie, and her um, aunt, her... Yeah, I think it was her aunt. Um, and the guy just, um, Michael Myers comes out and he grabs his face and just rips it off. It looks so cool and it's just horrible, horrible death and he just throws him out of the truck. It is such a good, good death. Um, I can't get over how good this death is, especially with the face. It's just coming off. It's a good death. Um, um... I think, um, if it weren't for that guy driving the truck, I think the, uh, girl, the, that was driving, taking over the driving after the guy died, I don't think she would have made it if that guy was right there, because, well, she could have made it, but, you know, he was pulling her skirt and stuff, but this guy really just got a, a great death, you know, I, that is a terrifying death, so let's go on to number seven, find some more better deaths and that is from Halloween 6 the curse of Michael Myers as well it is the um, the man in the down in the of the basement and he's getting his laundry out and he sees blood covered it with clothes and there goes Michael Myers coming out of the, the dark again and then just picks him up I don't know how heavy this man is and I don't know how how strong Michael Myers is, but this was probably, I, I'd never be able to do this, even if I probably tried weightlifting or something like that, and just grabbing a guy up and picking him up, I don't think I'd ever be able to do this, um, and then he electrocutes him, and you know, you, you see the spits, his saliva coming out of his mouth, and it's, it's just, it's so cool, and it, it shows it shows flashes and, and it shows the sparks come out. 
It's a good death, honestly. I love this death. I know. I can't get over it. It is um, probably one of his, I think it's his second time uh, electrocuting a man besides um, the old uh, Bucky from Halloween 4 who got electrocuted. And uh, by the way, that's actually at my number six pick. So let's get on the number six pick, which is from Halloween 4, old Bucky um, who poorly got electrocuted too. And this is such a, sh a really good death. It is amazing death. Oh, I can't get over how strong Michael Myers is in this death. You know, he picks him up by his belt and then carries and chokes him and then just throws him over to the power line. And it is just, oh, I love this death. You know, if I wasn't so sure, um... It'd probably be at my number one pick, but there are honestly better deaths than this. But this death had to go at my number six pick, so let's go on to number five, which is from Halloween 5. Um, the uh, one guy with the uh, cool black car, uh, I don't know, I forgot his name, but, um, and it, um, it's a, um, and... He's in the garage. He's get he's get he's uh, putting his keys in the car, and he looks on the uh, mirror that's hanging from the window. The, he, sees the, he looks in the mirror and he sees Michael Myers scratching his his all oh, good car, and he's like, he's so like mad about this. He just gets out of the car and wants to fight with Michael, and then soon he's like, he's talking to the guy, trying to get in the mood, and then. Michael Myers pins him and then just throws whatever that thing was right into his head. Oh, it is such a good death. Um, you know, you got to watch this. I love Halloween 5, honestly. Watching all the deaths after all the deaths, it's just a good one. I honestly like Halloween 5, so let's go to our number 4 pick. Which is from Halloween 5 as well. It is the man who got um, slayed with that pitchfork from Halloween 5. The uh, lady in the manor, you know, just having a good time. And then there it comes. You see Michael, he picks up the pitchfork. Like, this is a great choice. And then, I don't know how any of them saw Michael Myers not doing this. But then he just right through his stomach and you can and you can see the blood coming down um by the lines of the uh pitchfork it is it's it's just such good and the lady is terrified freaked out <laughs> and she's like what is going on this is a good good death um i honestly love halloween five just like i said i'm at number six five pick i mean um I love Halloween 5. I love this death. No, I respect Halloween 5, especially because the deaths. And this is a good, good death. So freaky. I, the first time I watched this, I I was scared of looking at Michael Myers. I'm like, don't show Michael Myers looking at me. So, yeah, he was a freak of Michael Myers in this movie. Did some good deaths. I was just... I was only like four when I watched the, the this movie, so yeah. Let's go on to our number three pick, <clears throat> which is from Halloween Resurrection, um, where the uh, one girl is on the staircase and she gets her head cut all the way off. It is such a good thing, you know. All the all the kids are like. We're not we're not falling for you, Freddy, and and everything. And they on and then they look at his knife and everything. And then he chomps off their head, and they're like, "This is not a joke. This is not a joke. This is real life." And her head falls down the staircase one by one down the stairs, and there her head rolls face to face with the people, and her eyes are still open, and it is just so wicked death. It's such a wicked death. I love this. I just loved it. 
It was, it was scary, it was awesome, and it was just wicked, you know. So let's go on to our number two pick, which is um, no other than the, from Halloween 6, once again. Um, the death where the girl gets uh, pinned by Michael in the beginning, and her the drill goes right through her stomach. Oh, I cannot look at this death every time. This is such a good death, you know. I just can't look at it sometimes. I can't get over how freaky this is, and I can't get over how, what if this happened to me, and I'm like, I'm thinking of right through her stomach, and I'm just busting through her guts and everything. And like, and it was just, and it just, I can't get over it. It is such a good death. Um, so I really respect uh, Halloween 6. That's why I, um, and my last videos, I made the movie, the uh, Worst to Best Michael Myers movies. Um, and I put Halloween 6 at uh, number 3 because I really love this movie. It's very violent. And it's just such a good movie. So, um, yeah, I'm going to reveal my number 1 pick. And that is um, from Halloween uh, 2, um, where you see Michael um, <clears throat> getting the, uh, um, getting, the man is going through the, uh, like, all this junk, looking at everything, and the police officer, and, um, um, and then there goes Michael once again, coming out of nowhere, and then just grabs that hammer and stabs it through his head. I love this death. I, I just, sometimes I can look at it, but sometimes I can't. I always think about how bad a hammer could be, and this really shows it off, really does the job. So I respect Halloween 2. That's why, I, as well as my other videos, making the worst and best Michael Myers movies, and Halloween 2 was at number 2, at my number 2 pick. So yeah, um, I really love Halloween 2. This death really gets me there. So, uh, I hope you like my picks on like or subscribe. Always add a comment. I always look down there just to check. Um... So I'll see you next time, and uh, watch my videos.